Hello everyone, and welcome to another Cornix tutorial. This video will demonstrate how to create your very own TradingView bot. Cornix TradingView bots allow you to take advantage of the tools and indicators that TradingView offers and combine them with our advanced trading features. For more information about the bot configuration and settings, please see our dedicated tutorial and article, which can be found in the description of this video. To create a new bot, navigate to the Trading View section and click the Create Bot button on the top right corner of the screen. On the right side of the screen, you can view your current available balance and an estimated preview of the bot's orders, which will be updated when the bot's parameters are modified. For your convenience, the system will warn you when something is invalid and let you know what needs to be changed in order to create a valid bot. Our first step is the general settings. Let's provide the bot with the symbol of our choice and the amount per trade. If we choose a futures exchange, we also have the option to choose the margin type, leverage, and direction. Next is our entries. By leaving the entries toggle off, the bot will only place a buy market order when a trade is opened. By enabling the entries toggle, you'll be able to configure an advanced entry strategy in addition to the default buy market order. The Customize First Entry toggle will allow you, if enabled, to set a specific amount to be allocated for the first entry order, defined as a percentage out of the total trade amount. The Amount Scale and Number of Orders parameters will determine how the trade's amount will be distributed between the orders. The Number of Active Orders controls the number of active entry orders the bot will place simultaneously on the exchange to limit the amount of funds locked up in the trade. Finally, the price difference and price scale parameters determine the order's prices. While changing the entry order's parameters, the maximum price difference between the orders will be displayed below. Enabling the trailing toggle will apply a trailing entry based on the chosen percentage for all entry orders, except for the first entry order, which is a market order. Following is the Take Profits tab. Enabling the Take Profit toggle will allow you to set a Take Profit order as a percent above the first entry or the average entry price. If you wish to set more than one Take Profit order, enable the Take Profit strategy toggle. Trailing configuration is also available for the Take Profit orders by enabling the Trailing toggle. You can also control your risk by setting a Stop Loss order as a percentage below the first entry or the average entry price. In addition, you can define the total number of continuous stop-loss orders that the bot will execute before it is automatically deactivated. Lastly, on the advanced settings, you can set a cooldown time before a new trade will open, the number of trades until the bot stops, and the maximum number of simultaneous trades. After you finish configuring the bot, click on Create Bot and choose if you want to create your bot in an inactive state or Create Inactivate which will open a trade as soon as a new alert is received. Next is integrating the bot with your TradingView alerts. You'll receive unique Create Trade and Close Trades UUIDs. The Create Trade UUID integration is necessary for trades to open up by the bot when alerts are triggered. By applying your Create Trade UUID into an alert, when the alert trigger is reached, the bot will open a trade with a buy market order. The Close Trades UUID, if integrated with a TradingView alert, will sell and close any open trades that were created by this bot when the alert is triggered. Let's see how to create an alert. Click on Webhook URL and navigate to your TradingView profile. Go ahead and pick the symbol in Exchange that matches the ones you picked to create the bot. Click on the Alarm Clock icon on the right side of the page and tap Create Alert. Please continue to change the condition as you'd like. In the Trigger section, you might see several different options, depending if you selected a specific coin, indicator, or a pine script in the Condition section. If you select a coin, like in this example, you'll only see two options under the Trigger section. The first, labeled only once, will only fire an event when the condition specified is met for the first time. Selecting the Every Time option will repeatedly fire off the alert every time the condition is met. When creating conditions based on a Pine script or indicator, we will see different options that are compatible. In that case, besides the option only once, we'll see three additional options, 
The first, called once per bar, will fire the alert no more than one time per bar. The second, labeled once per bar close, will only send an alert once the bar closes if the condition is met any time while the bar is open. Lastly, the once per minute option will limit the alert so there is at least a minute from the moment an alert is fired until the next one can be fired. Let's continue to fill in the necessary fields by navigating to the Notifications tab and ticking the webhook URL. Let's paste the webhook URL we copied earlier directly into the alert. Next, we'll provide the alert with a name. Lastly, copy and paste your unique Create Trade UUID into the message box and click on Create. We'll create an additional alert for the closed trades following the same steps. When the conditions you set for the alert with the Create Trade webhook are met, your Cornix TradingView bot will open a new trade based on its configuration. That's it. We're all set. Thank you for watching this video.